Good morning, KI. It's Thursday, October 4th, and I'm Peter. And I'm Jacob, and here's your Buck Report. There will be an SGA meeting today for all junior class members after school in Mr. Hackett's room 165. Seniors, the Yankee Candle forms are due today. You can drop them off at the office or the media center. Attention all NHS members. To maintain your membership in good standing, you should have already turned in your contract, paid your dues, signed up for tutoring, recycling, and subcommittees. If you have not completed these tasks, you must either complete them or see Ms. Sutherland by today. Spirit Week starts on Monday. Here's a commercial for the five Spirit Days. Ahoy, Mike. Beach Day at Kid Island on Monday. Make sure you wear your beach attire. Boom. On Tuesday, come out and celebrate Survivor Day. Yahar! Pirate Day! Arr, Wednesday! <laughs> Give me your booty. Woohoo, it's Thursday! Woo, it's Thursday! I don't usually do Spirit Day, but what I do, it's Fish Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay fishy, my friends. Yeah! It's ball day! Come out Friday and support your bucks. Homecoming tickets are sold out. If you have a ticket on hold, see Miss Herlock by tomorrow to pick it up, or else it will be released for sale on Monday. Car competition info! Do you think you have the biggest Baddest truck? Is your car squeaky clean? Or the most spirited ride decked out with blue and silver? Then enter the car competition. Forms are available in the main office. Door decorating contest. First period teachers, the competition is underway. Decorate your door in the shipwreck theme and win a free breakfast from Chick-fil-A. Door judging is next Friday, the 12th. Homecoming court info. Know a classmate who should be seen as royalty? Then nominate them for homecoming court. Forms are in the main office. Did you know that the week of October 14th is Team Read Week? Well, now you do. The Kent Island Library is sponsoring daily events, so stop by and check them out. Here's your Kent Island sports update. In today's action, volleyball is at Colonel Richardson and the JV football team is home versus North Carolina. The field hockey team beat Bennett yesterday 3-2 to improve the record to 7-2. Emily Bowen scored first. Jess Hoffman scored the second goal. Freshman Peyton Beach scored the final goal of the game to secure the win for KI. Goalie Chloe Francis recorded 14 saves. The next home match is senior night on Tuesday the 9th at 7 p.m. Come out and cheer on the team. We'll leave you with the September Students of the Month for our Math and Technology Education Departments. Have, Have a great, great day, day, K.I. Um, I'm Mrs. McCammett from the Math Department, and the Math Student of the Month this uh, time is Sophia Brown, a ninth grader in my geometry class at the Annex. And um, Sophia exhibits all of the expected normal good student habits of having her work and participating in class and um, excellent behavior but the two shining stars that I see flashing on Sophia is that she's always paying attention just always and I wish that I could have all of my students paying attention like she does but it's not this studious I can't do anything else kind of paying attention. She's still smiling and participating all the time. So thank you, Sophia. Good morning, everybody. Uh, Mr. Coiner, I'm a teacher in the technology department, and this is Peter Russell, our student of the month. For first period, we film the announcements every morning, our daily TV show. And uh, a big part of that process is on the back end, in the post-production stage, where we have to do all the editing. And that's where Peter's been uh, extremely helpful coming in uh, beginning of the semester. Since it's, we have all new students, it takes a little while to train everybody to kind of get the flow of the whole system going. So it's really helpful if you can find one student early on 
who can do the editing on the back end because that frees you up to do a lot of the other stuff with the other students. And that's where why I nominated Peter for Student of the Month because you know, he came in, he was really uh, energetic and enthusiastic about helping out. He comes in early in the morning and helps me set up the studio. And then on the back end, he does all the editing. So it's nice because I don't really have to come around and check on him too much. You know, I just come in and make sure that we've got everything in place. But uh, he's doing a great job. And what's more is he's actually helping training the other students. So that's really nice that, uh, you know, I've been able to basically teach him the basics. And now he's teaching the other students. So uh, it's a pleasure to have Peter in the class. He's a very well-mannered uh, young man as well. Thank you, Peter.